Hi, this is CADCAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to export a model created in Plasticity to the STL format. The STL format is used among other things in 3D printing and software used to prepare programs for 3D printers often works with models in this format. Based on STL files we can prepare programs for the 3D printer. To save such a model in STL format go to the menu Select export, choose the location where we will save the file, enter the file name and here select the format in which you want to save this file. Select the STL format, click save and here we can modify the export parameters. If I increase the triangle density here, pay attention to how the model changes. We simply have a preview of the mesh and you can see what it looks like. If I enter a small value here, it will look like this and this model will be faceted. The circle will appear more faceted. For now, I will save this with a small value of this parameter. And click OK. Now I will open Prusa Slicer and import this file here. OK, and this is how it looks. Now I go back to Plasticity and export again. This time set a slightly larger value for the triangle density. And here, for example, let's enter 0.75, click OK. And I go to Prusa Slicer and now import the second file. And this is the difference. It is also important to keep in mind that if we export a file with greater accuracy, the size of that file will be larger. While in the case of rather small and low detail elements, this doesn't matter much, in the case of more complex and complicated projects, the file size can become significant. And regarding exporting files for 3D printing, some slicers support the step format and as you can see, when exporting this model to STL format, we specified the accuracy and in this case, although this accuracy was relatively high, the mesh density was quite large, the circles still appeared slightly faceted. However, Prusa Slicer supports the step format and Plasticity also allows exporting files to step format. How to do this I showed in the previous video. And we can also load files in this format into Prusa Slicer. Add the file here, select the step format file and we have that file imported. In this case, we didn't set any accuracy, we exported this model to step format. The elements that are circles are imported here as circles and are not faceted. Similarly, regarding this radius, you can see how this radius looks. We have a smooth radius. Therefore, if you are designing files for 3D printing, it may be a better solution to export to step format rather than STL format. We don't need to think about accuracy here, just what we have we export and in Slicer it is loaded exactly in the form it was created in the CAD system. And that's all for today, thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.